Hi, this is Mike again. I'm going to continue the discussion about pilot wave theory. Um, basically, a concept coming out of quantum dynamics competes with current theories that are pretty much Copenhagen in the sense that particles are completely random and their position cannot be known until you measure and measuring actually brings into reality the particle's position and so on versus a deterministic model called pilot wave theory that says if you knew enough information about the particle and about space around that particle you would know where it is at any point in time everything's deterministic meaning you can determine the true root reason for that position of a particle. Anyway, yeah, you're looking at a bowl of water here. And we're going to pretend like that bowl of water is space. And I created a little kind of a little model of an EM drive that's going to sit in that space. and just kind of float there and hopefully not go anywhere but I keep breathing on it so it keeps moving so what I'm going to try to do is quickly explain why pilot theory could be the reason for the thrust behind an EM drive and as long as I keep breathing it is not going to work very well here we go So this is just really trying to illustrate the concept. If you think about what things right now can make this device move, one would be me hitting it directly, or another one would be me actually disturbing the water that this device is in. So if I create ripples behind the device by just simply making waves behind it, it moves the device forward but that's all Newtonian where we run into problems is the idea that if we put something inside the device inside it that and it bounced against the insides of the walls that it shouldn't move anywhere and I can show that real quick So you just fill up this little resonant cavity thruster, poor man's idea of one at least anyway. And if we just simply do something simple, we just drip water into the cavity what you'll see is the waves on the inside are all canceling out and it's not going anywhere it's not going forward it's not going backwards it's not going anywhere and that's because the force of the waves are all balanced out across the surface of the interior of this you know little vessel even though if I were to do the same thing and drip the water behind the vessel, it actually does move it forward. You can see that. It actually moves it forward by me dripping water on the outside. Now, let's take into the idea pilot waves. The difference with the pilot wave is let's take the water out. We're not, we are not trying to suggest that the movement of the resonant cavity is because of waves bouncing around inside. Rather, the movement is because of the change in space that's created by the vibrations of those waves. That we are creating waves 
inside the device, but it causes waves outside of the device by causing the pilot wave, which propagates not only inside the device, but outside of the device. So if you can imagine this, again, if I create a wave behind the little device, it moves forward because the waves push it forward. But if I also push down on the device, on the inside of it, it also creates waves. It also moves it forward. In the same way, because of the shape of the cavity, interacts with the waves bouncing around it in such a way that by hitting it, not like that of course, but by hitting it and making it create the waves inside the water, it actually moves it forward in the same manner, creating the same kind of movement as you would get from hitting the water around it. Anyway, that's just my concept of how the pilot wave, um, the idea that space itself is also moving as light moves through it, creating uh, a wave that the quantum photon has to interact with so that essentially it creates a field around it that vibrates and as it moves it interacts with that vibration in the same way that this vessel interacts with the vibe with the water around it affecting where it goes and that there isn't much difference between the um, propulsion you would get from creating waves on the outside versus creating waves inside, the waves would still exist and based on the shape of of the device, you'll, you'll get a thrust because of the way the shape of the waves on the outside push against the, the device. Thanks for listening. Bye.